안녕하세요 여러분 가돌입니다 Before the class, I will give you a quiz about Korean consonant words that we use a lot in chatting. So, guess what they are? Here we go! BAM! I will count up to five. One, two, three, four, five! Yeah, how many could you guess? You couldn't guess a lot. We can study together, okay? Nowadays, since people use messages like Kakao Talk or Line more than a phone call, people start to shorten words even up to consonants. So I'm gonna teach you top 7 useful Korean consonant words. First, this one here, 일님. It means yes. Guess what they are? It is 응응. 응. So, 응 means yes in a casual way. We use it a lot with friends. Like in texting, are you coming? 응응. 응. Have you finished it? 응응. 응. And second, 리은 리은. It means no. I guess it is no no. Yeah, it is an um, English word. It's the same. No no. Do I know why? No. We just use it. Because in Korea, we mix English words a lot too. And third one, this one, 기억, 기억, is also made from English. So now you can guess, right? It is 고고, 고고. No, it's the same as English. Like, but we use it, you know, when you go somewhere, or when you argue with something, like yes. And fourth, this one, 뷰, 뷰. It is also from English. Guess what they are? It is 바바, 바바. It's not English, right? It came from 바이바이. So, 바이바이 to 바바 to 뷰뷰. And fifth, from here, it is Korean. 뮤치. 뮤치. It is a kind of a bad word, but we say it a lot. I guess you too. It means crazy, which is 미친. 미친. And six. It's also Korean. Yung It means where. Guess what they are? It is 어디. 어디. So it's like questioning. Like 어디? 어디야? Where are you? So we just say 어디. Yung digut. And lastly, this one here, cute, cute. I guess you guys probably saw it in you know Korean TV shows, like when they are texting. They add it to every single sentence. So it's a sound of laughing. Like <laughs> Yeah, but like we just add it to every sentence. Also, this one here, hit hit, it is also used a lot too. Like almost the same. No, hit hit. So it sounds like <laughs> Yo, they are both sound like laughing. Okay, my last for today is done. I'm gonna give you the summary here, like I'll, I will leave it for a few seconds. You can maybe capture it. I also left the summary below the video here, so hope you guys can refer to it. Okay, thanks for watching again. I hope you guys can text like native Korean speaker from now on. Then I'm gonna come back with another fun Korean lesson. And don't forget to 구독, 좋아요, 댓글. Okay? Then, 안녕!